Thank you for joining me today on this episode of Doing Insurance Right. My name is Scott Jenkins, your host, a local farmer's agent here in Phoenix, Arizona. And today I wanted to go over some benefits for you of life insurance for actually for retirement. So I'm going to go through about five or six of them here just to give you some ideas to think about. So the first one I'm going to go over would be for, uh, protection for you or for your loved ones from debts. Obviously, everybody would like to go into retirement with a healthy nest egg and uh, zero debt. According to some surveys lately, if over a third of the households headed into retirement have a mortgage. And once you get into the 75 and older age bracket, 25% still have a mortgage. And four and 10, so about 40%, 55 to 65 are saying they're going to have a mortgage going into retirement. And then at the same time, the baby boomers, almost three fourths of the baby boomers heading into retirement retirement do not believe they have a comfortable nest egg to reach comfortably to age 85. So when carrying a life insurance policy, um, that can help pay off a lot of debts heading into retirement and give a com comfortable nest egg for your loved ones. The second one I want to go over is going to be protection from health care costs. Time Magazine did a article here not too long ago or the uh, American couple retiring today at age 65 will need roughly $280,000 to cover health care and medical costs in retirement. Just $280,000. If you uh, incur significant health care costs in retirement, life insurance can help your loved ones cover these expenses in case you do pass away. So that's something else to keep in mind. Protection from long care costs would be the third one. Long-term care is the most expensive cost that we have during retirement. 70% of Americans over age 65 expect to use some sort of long-term care services. And currently a private room in a nursing home, just to give you an idea, is over $250 a day or roughly $8,000 a month. So let's figure that out. At $8,000 a month, that's almost $100,000 a year. I mean, one of the benefits of life insurance is that uh, benefits may help your beneficiary afford uh, long-term care if you do pass away, or that can be if it's a chronic illness or if you have one of those chronic illness riders on your policy, it can actually be forwarded ahead of time as well. The fourth one's obviously going to be one that a lot of people say is protection for final expenses, obviously. It helps make sure that, you know, you can get the kind of service that you want if you want to be buried or if you want to be cremated. The average funeral is still around, around 10000 for traditional service and burial. You know, if you want private transportation, flowers and other final expenses, it could be a fifteen dollars to $30,000 range. So just keep that in mind as well. The fifth one to kind of go over is ensuring your legacy. So life insurance benefits uh, to potential preserve your legacy and uh, provide long lasting uh, protection financially for loved ones, for just maybe a spouse, but your kids and maybe even grandkids. The beneficiary is going to receive that money tax free when they receive that money as well. So, you know, and you're looking that money to be paid very quickly as well, as long as there's no weird circumstances or anything. So it's very nice to have as well. And they get that money rapidly and to uh, be able to use that and to pay off things and to get financially settled. Probably the sixth one to go over would be living benefits. Life insurance, like we've went over the ones that when ha something happens, but like I was talking about, you know, there are some things that we can do while you're living as well. The ones that build cash value, such as permanent, whole, uh, universal life. You can do loans and withdrawals. Um, like for example, with the universal life, after 14 years, you can do loans at 0% um, with the farmer's product to add to your retirement income or pay off debts. So very nice stuff to have there. So you do have obviously the death benefits and you can also build cash value with the whole policies or permanent policies um, and do that as well. So hopefully this helped out, uh, you know, with some retirement options to help protect against debts, what things are going to do for your retirement. It's becoming, uh, we're going to live a lot longer. It seems like the age of... Uh, when we pass away, it seems to be going up and up and up. Therefore, retirement age is going to be later in life. Or if we want to retire around the 65 years old, we're going to have to plan on a longer time to be alive. So definitely something we want to keep in mind. And we want to make sure that we have plenty of money and time to pay off all those debts in order to be to enjoy our retirement. So I wanted to thank you for joining me on this episode of Doing Insurance Right. As always, if you could rate, review, or subscribe to this podcast, whatever platform you're on, whether it be Apple or Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, or any of those out there, I would greatly appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode.